Hi Rose Cab, I'm Yanni and I hope all of you are still well. In our life group we've been working through Romans and one of the talking points really inspired me. Um, we started, well we read um, Romans 10 verse 4 the other day. For Christ has brought the law to an end so that everyone who believes is put right with God. To become a Christian is so easy. Jesus has done all of the work for us. We just need to accept um, the gift of eternal life that he'll, He has already prepared for us um, by believing in Him. We need to proclaim His name. We need to be thankful for His mercy and grace. We need to accept Him as Lord and Savior. We need to repent our sin. But the essence of it all is we just need to believe. That is how easy it is to become a Christian. Now, in Romans 12, you will see that living as a Christian is not so easy. We actually have very high standards to live by. Um, Jesus never said, follow me and you will have an easy life. No, on the contrary. The Bible actually warns us that there's difficult times ahead. Um, but with a beautiful promise that Jesus will walk the way with us. So starting um, off in Romans 12, um, verse 1, it says, Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Sure. Can you already see where Romans 12 is taking us? Um, as a starting point, it tells you to offer your body as a living sacrifice. Verse 2. Um, oh, this verse is so beautiful to me. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let's make this verse current for us in this COVID-19 pandemic situation. As Christians, we need to have another mindset on everything. Um, we shouldn't fear, not for the disease. God will protect you wherever you go. And if your time on earth comes, Yes, it's not easy um, for the people staying behind, but you'll be celebrating life in heaven. Um, finances, we shouldn't fear finances. Um, God says He is providing to all the birds. How much more will He take care of you? We need to ask God daily to renew our minds so that we can have a better godly perspective and not a worldly one. Why? Why should we do this? The verse continues to say, Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. Was this pandemic God's will? I don't think so. The Bible says God has a good, pleasing and perfect will. But what I do know is that God can use any situation for His will and plan. Um, and at the end, God's will is for all of His children to one day join Him in heaven. He can use this time um, to show people His love. How? Through His children, who can reach out and love their neighbors in need. He can show His abundance by providing to people who really trust in Him. And His name will be praised for it. We need to be on the lookout for... Um, opportunities to be servants to others and to show um, how to live in the light and not give in to negativity, stress and fear of the world. If we skip to verse 9 to 21, um, there are um, a lot of guidelines um, how we should live as Christians. Let's look at only a few of them, um, but I encourage you to go read all of them on your own time. So verse 9, love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Don't show love because it's expected of you. Um, show love because you are a child of God and God is love. So it is in your DNA to live it out. Then listen to verse 12 and 30. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, 
Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Verse 14 is a tall order for us as humans. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. And listen to a part of verse 20. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. I really want to encourage you to go read the entire Romans 12, um, but read it with an open and renewed mind. And for that matter, go read the entire Romans um, for more context and perspective. The last question, again, why? <laughs> why would we want to follow all of these intense guidelines um, to be followers of Jesus? This is quite a standard to live by. Well, it's easy. Um, this is the least we can do after what Jesus has done for us in our place. Um, to serve the Almighty God um, is a privilege and it's worth every sacrifice. Stay safe and God bless.